I wanted to make a video about boots. Specifically, elephant skin boots. So, obviously there's a lot of controversy with that. And, um, all I, all I can really say is I have Tony Llama boots. And according to them... <laughs> according to them, they, uh... Their profits go to helping elephants. They only use skins from elephants that have died of natural causes or have had to be humanely put down. Now, I've heard some people say that that's kind of a difficult thing to really gauge or, you know, kind of hard for you to know where the skins are really coming from, but I really don't know. It's hard to say. Now, I, get, I got these off of eBay. I mean, it's not like I'm getting them custom made brand new. The boots are already made. So that at least makes me feel a little better. They're, uh, they're there anyway. I wanted them, so I got them. Now, what I wanted to point out is, put that out of the way, if you do want a pair of elephant skin boots, and you're looking for them, especially on a, getting them used on a site like eBay, you gotta know what you're buying. Now, one of these pairs is fake. Some of you are gonna be able to know right off the bat. And some of you are going to have no idea. So, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe if I show you this, it'll help you out a little bit. And I hope you know what to look for. This was, um, this is the first pair I ever got. These are great, I love these. I wear them for everything. That's the last pair I got so far. Same, love those. These are garbage. Now if you look, texture, color, stitching, pretty much, oh, excuse me, pretty much the same. And now, let me get the shadow out of here. These are made to look like these. These are not Tony Llamas. These didn't have a brand. I was hoping when I got them, the guy didn't know much he didn't have any information about him i just thought maybe he was an idiot and he didn't know what he was looking at maybe the name faded i don't know so i took a shot they were only like 40 bucks so it was worth a shot they're still decent boots i still wore them and got some use out of them but i don't know maybe if you look the big thing with elephant skin, elephant skin is super thick and tough and strong it's just Ridiculous weather. I don't know if maybe you hear that difference. Feel the difference. When I first got them, it was still hard to tell. Because I'd only had the one pair before, and I thought maybe. Because it's well done. And embossing is looks real to me. But it's sure as hell not. There's a big giveaway. If they if that's there, you can kind of feel it. Maybe you can see how thin it is. I don't know if you can see that. And things like that. That wouldn't happen. It's not well done. Coloration. Said I've wore these a lot. Of We've been through power washing, working on the car, cutting wood, all sorts of shit. You're gonna make fun of me for this, but I didn't want to get them resold again yet. Not quite yet. I did not too long ago. It was like 80 bucks. I'm getting a rubber cap next time. Because that'll wear out real quick on concrete and asphalt. Which I do a lot of walking on. But, uh, yeah, that'll make them last a little longer. These, these are probably, I gotta say, my best, best looking ones. The black, everybody's got black boots. I kind of wish they could be a different color, but I can't complain. These are, skin is just amazing. I'm stitching, these are, uh, these little holes, these are called buckaroos. If you're looking for that style. 
good rubber soles. These are going to last a long time. Uh, one thing you want to look out for is the size. If you've never had boots before, like say you wear nines or something, you probably want to go a half a size smaller. Because the boot sizing is a little different. See, even right now I've got on these ostrich Tony Llamas. They're, uh, I don't know, I've wore anything from 9 to 10s can fit me in shoes depending on the maker. These, most of these are, uh, I think these, those are 8s. Eight, these are 8.5s. Those are 9s. And uh, I put an extra insole in those so they fit a little better and they worked out. Those are 8.5s. They fit fine. These are 7.5s. Now what you can do if you're willing to risk it. My dad showed me this trick. He rode bulls. He was a cowboy for a long goddamn time. The trick is to uh, fill them with water. Get them soaked. Soak them for about an hour. And uh, put them on. Wear them all day until they dry out. The leather's going to stretch. And they'll fucking fit you perfectly. They're going to be made to fit you. But that's... That's up to you. I tried it with quite a few boots. It seems to work out fine. Just make sure you condition them afterwards. You got snake skin or something? I don't think I'd try it on those. It's just something to look out for. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of boots. If there's anything else you guys like to see, got some suggestions, let me know. I think that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.